Diverticulitis is an inflammation of diverticula, small pouches that form in the wall of the colon. The pathophysiology of diverticulitis involves the formation of diverticula where the colon walls are weak, often due to increased pressure from constipation or straining during bowel movements. Diverticulosis refers to the presence of these pouches and is generally asymptomatic. However, a small percentage of individuals with diverticulosis develop diverticulitis, where inflammation occurs due to obstruction of the diverticula by hardened stool or food. Diverticulitis can be uncomplicated, involving only inflammation, or it can become complicated, involving abscesses, perforations, fistulas, or bowel obstructions. Peritonitis can result from major perforations. Common symptoms of diverticulitis include abdominal pain, typically in the left lower quadrant, altered bowel habits such as diarrhea or constipation, fever, nausea, and vomiting. Bowel sounds are commonly hypoactive and a palpable mass may be palpated if an abscess is present. Risk factors for both diverticulosis and diverticulitis include age, with a significant percentage of individuals over 60 affected, as well as a low-fiber diet, high intake of red meat and fatty foods, obesity, tobacco use, certain medications like NSAIDs, steroids, opioids, and statins. Diagnostic tests for diverticulitis typically include a complete blood count to check for elevated white blood cells and erythrocyte sedimentation rate and C-reactive protein to assess for inflammation. CT scan of the abdomen with contrast or abdominal ultrasound are used to diagnose diverticulitis. Colonoscopy is used to diagnose diverticulosis, but this procedure is not recommended during active diverticulitis due to the risk of perforation. Depending on the severity of the case of diverticulitis, the client may require inpatient care. Client characteristics that may require hospitalization include extreme vomiting, those who cannot take liquids by mouth, older adults, those who are immunocompromised, or those with signs of complications. Regardless of the setting, treatment for diverticulitis consists of bowel rest, increased fluids, and antibiotics. Initially, hospitalized clients will have NPO diet orders, whereas those undergoing outpatient treatment may be on a clear liquid diet. In the inpatient setting, intravenous fluids may be administered. Oral antibiotics are prescribed for those in the outpatient setting, and intravenous antibiotics are administered for hospitalized clients. Pain management may also be necessary depending on the comfort level of the client. Other medical treatments for clients with complications such as abscesses, fistulas, perforations, or recurrent episodes of diverticulitis may involve surgery where the diseased portion of the colon may need to be removed. Priority nursing interventions include managing pain and bowel rest while ensuring adequate nutrition. Nursing assessments focus on monitoring vitals, pain levels, intake and output, and stool characteristics. Nurses administer prescribed antibiotics, IV fluids, and pain medications and prepare clients for surgery if necessary. Collaboration with a dietitian can help optimize nutrition. Patient education is crucial, particularly about consuming a high-fiber diet post-recovery to prevent constipation and additional diverticula formation. Clients are advised to increase fluid intake, avoid activities that increase intra-abdominal pressure, and maintain a healthy weight to reduce the risk of further complications. Nurses evaluate the effectiveness of interventions in promoting patient recovery and preventing recurrence, and nursing care plans are revised as indicated.